Hey everyone, I wish you all a very happy new year. I wish this new year brings a lot of prosperity in your life. Now after the recent correction in Indian stock market, I briefly paused my fourth episode of the next multi-packer series. The reason being that many people judge my stock picks on the basis of immediate return after I discuss it. And since we are in volatile times, we can see further correction, especially in mid cap and small cap sector. But I'm glad to see many comments where people have mentioned that they are waiting for the fourth video of this next multipagger series. So here I am with a new episode of this series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss the fundamentals of an electronics manufacturer that has already generated 10 times return in last five years since its IPO. And the way it is growing in terms of revenue and profits, it can easily be a 100x story from its IPO levels. That means from current levels, there is easily another potential 10 times growth in the next 10 years. And if there is any correction in the stock price, the growth potential would only rise. Although I have discussed this stock multiple times in the past, this time I am covering this stock in my multi-bagger series. Another reason to cover this stock is that it has corrected 30% from its peak. This stock is Dixon Technologies. Now, if you look at some of the biggest growth drivers in India, there are three biggest growth drivers. First is increasing consumption. Second, government incentives to domestic manufacturer. And third, global MNCs looking for alternative to China. And if there is one company that fits all three growth drivers, then it is Dixon Technology. Okay, now let us look at our five parameters to understand why Dixon is a multi -bagger. The parameters are company business and future prospect, key strength and risk, leadership, financials, and valuation. But before we proceed, if you are new to this channel, I would strongly recommend watching my previous videos of this series. And if you are looking for a quick return from stock market, then it is not the right channel. I discuss stocks that are fundamentally strong and can be considered adding in SIP mode. All right, let's get started. Established in 1993, Dixon Technology started its journey with manufacturing of color TVs. Since then, it has expanded its portfolio to include LED TV, mobile phone manufacturing, washing machine, LED lights, set-top boxes, medical equipment, CCTV camera, as well as wearable devices. So basically, Dixon has five key product categories. First is consumer electronics, where it offers smart TVs, ultra-high definition TV. Here, Dixon operates in two business models. First is original equipment manufacturer and second is original design manufacturer. The key difference between OEM and ODM is within OEM model, Dixon simply assemble the products based on the customer specification. Whereas in ODM model, Dixon produced the product from the scratch, including the design and selection of raw material using its in-house R&D. Hence, ODM model has higher operating margin. Then second category is lightning solution. Dixon Technology is one of the top global manufacturer of indoor lightning and LED bulb. Then third category is home appliances. Dixon manufacture both semi-automatic and fully automatic washing machine. Fourth category is mobile phone and EMS. Dixon manufactures smartphones and has capacity to manufacture 45 million mobile phone every year. Dixon has also put it into other product categories like set-up boxes, medical equipment, as well as wearable device. And fifth category is security system. Dixon manufactures CCTV camera as well as digital video recorder. In addition, Dixon also provides repair and refurbishment services for all the products. Now, if you look at the revenue breakup by category for FI22, consumer electronics accounted for 48% of its business. Lightning product accounted for 12%, home appliances accounted for 7%, mobile phone accounted for 29%, security system contributed 4%. Here, mobile phone is one of the fastest growing segment in the business. Today, Dixon Technology has 17 manufacturing facilities in India and three R&D centers in India and China. Now, if you look at the future prospect of Dixon, Indian electronics manufacturing sector is currently valued at $23.5 billion. Out of this, Dixon has a market share of just 3 to 4%. So there is huge scope for growth for Dixon Technology. And the EMS market itself is growing exponentially. Now, there are three key reasons for this exponential growth. A, there is a huge demand for electronics product in India, including your mobile, TV, LED lights, washing machine, due to rising income and spending level. Especially mobile market is expected to grow five times by FI26. Then B, the Indian electronics industry is in a sweet spot due to government initiatives like Make in India, Atmanirbhar Bharat and PLI scheme. Dixon has already received an approval from government of India under the PLI scheme 
for manufacturing telecom and networking products, mobile phones, AC PBCs and LED bulbs. It is the first Indian company to meet the threshold to qualify for PLI scheme. On top of this, see every global company is now looking to de-risk the global supply chain with China plus one strategy and India has emerged as a strong alternative. Due to all these factors, India has already seen a good amount of investment from both domestic and international companies to scale up manufacturing and a lot more capex is expected over the next three to five years. To capture this fast growing electronics market, Dixon is on aggressive growth plan. Last year, Dixon invested 600 crore rupees to build new facility under PLI to manufacture mobile devices, laptops, tablets, telecom equipment and LED component to cater to the domestic as well as global market this year. Then few months ago, Dixon announced investment of 300 crore rupees to expand its base in Punjab. Dixon has also entered into a joint venture with Imagine Marketing that manufactures wireless audio solution under the brand Boat. Clearly, the business of the company is looking very promising. Hence, on future growth prospect, I would rate it 10 on 10. Now, before we proceed, we have a partner for this video. It's M-Stock from Mirai Asset. M-Stock is a trading platform that is disrupting the traditional brokerage sector with its zero brokerage model. You just need to pay a one-time fee of 9.99 and you can make unlimited trade without any brokerage. It includes your free intraday trading, free delivery, free FNO trades, basically everything free for just one-time fee of 9.99. And if you open a DMIT account with MStock, you just need to pay a one-time amount of 9.99 and your DMIT maintenance would be free for life. So basically you pay a total of 19.98 and all your trading is free and your DMIT maintenance is free for life. Mstock has a very user-friendly interface and the platform is built on advanced technology that can process thousands of orders per second and provide you with stable platform and a seamless experience. You can access smart calculators for easy decision making along with fully loaded fundamentals and technical data to make an informed decision before investing your money. And you can also trade using Mstock e-margin facility that offers one of the lowest interest rate in the range of 7.99% to 9.49%. And since Mstock is a part of global Mirai Asset Group, it brings 25 years of legacy and experience of 15 countries. This is a great option for those who trade frequently and even for investors who are looking for an alternative low cost trading account. If you want to explore Mstock, I have provided the link in the description box. Now, if you look at the key strength, its first strength is strong brand name. Over the last three decades, Dixon has become one of the largest manufacturer of TV sets in India with a strong set of renowned brands like Samsung, Panasonic, Xiaomi, TCL, OnePlus, Flipkart, Lloyd, etc. Some of its clients in lightning product category include Philips, Havels, Cisco, Bajaj, Wipro, Orient, etc. Again, all top lightning brands are client of Dixon. It is also the leading contract manufacturer of semi-automatic and automatic washing machine for clients like Godrej, Samsung, Lloyd, Panasonic. Now, it is not an easy task to establish your brand in this sector. It takes years of research to build relationship with top electronics brand in India. And if you search for competitor for Dixon Technology in India, there is no major direct competitor, at least in the listed space. You have Ember Enterprise, but it is mainly into AC manufacturing. And that's where Dixon is in excellent position to grab the growing electronics market in India. Then second strength is backward integration. Dixon operate in B2B electronics space where the margins are very thin. So you need to have very efficient business to ensure good profitability. And Dixon provides a one-stop solution for its client right from R&D to manufacturing the best product from the market to sourcing the raw material to designing the product to manufacturing, assembly and testing. This end-to-end -end capability with backward integration is the biggest strength of the company that gives Dixon a clear edge over competitor. Then third strength is diversified business. Today, Dixon is present in not just one category, but multiple categories, including your mobile phone, TV, washing machine, LED light, security camera, set-top boxes, medical electronics, and so on. And each of these product category have amazing growth prospect. In fact, Dixon has now forayed into wearable electronics market that is going to explode in the future. Although the future growth prospect of Dixon technology are great, in the short term, there are few challenges that could hinder the high growth trajectory of Dixon technology. For example, there are still challenges related to supply chain, semiconductor and chip shortage, and commodity prices are still high. Although the commodity prices have started to fall, but in the near term, it may impact Dixon profitability. 
Moreover, the global slowdown can also impact Indian market and could impact the near-term growth of Dixon technology. Overall on key strength and risk, I would rate Dixon 9 on 10. Now if you look at the leadership of company, Mr. Sunil Vachani is the founder and chairman of Dixon Technology. He is the second generation entrepreneur with three decades of experience in electronic manufacturing. Then Mr. Atul Lal is the vice chairman and MD of the company. He did his masters from Bits Pilani and associated with Dixon since last three decades. And the entire top leadership of the company is highly experienced. So overall on the leadership, I would rate company 10 on 10. Now let us look at the financials of the company. Now if you look at Dixon revenues, it has grown from 2,842 crore in FI18 to levels of 12,748 crore. Look at the consistent and exponential growth in company's revenue. It has grown more than 4x in last 5 and a half years. Then if you look at the profits, profits have again grown exponentially and consistently from levels of 61 crore in FI18 to levels of 232 crore. And this is again nearly 4x growth in last 5 and a half years. Then if you look at the margins, since it operates in two B2B electronic space, the margins are paper thin. So company operates in the range of 4-5% to operating margin. Next, if you look at the ROE and ROCE, company ROE and ROCE are consistently about 20% in last 5 years and its latest ROE is stood at 20.9% and ROCE is 24.2% which is very good. Next, if you look at debt to equity, it has been consistently under control and its latest debt to equity is 0.37. And finally, if you look at the cash from operation, company is consistently generating cash and its latest cash stood at 273 crore. Overall on financials, I would rate Dixon 8 out of 10. Now if you look at the valuation, currently Dixon is trading at levels of around 3,900. It had its IPO at levels of 1766, then it split its share into 1 is to 5. So a split adjusted, the IPO price was around 353. So from IPO price, the stock is already up more than 10 times in the last 5 years. Although in the last 1 year, Dixon share has corrected 30%. But even after the correction, Dixon commands a P ratio of 100. Now if you look at the growth trajectory of Dixon and its future potential, its earnings have grown at 44% CAGR in the last 3 years and would continue to grow at super fast trajectory. And that is the reason Dixon commands a high premium. Hence, on valuation I would rate it 7 on 10. I wish it was available at P ratio of around 60-70. But since there are billions of dollars worth of opportunity in every segment that Dixon operates and currently it commands just a market cap of 23,000 crore. So it is a mid cap company. So in spite of 10 times growth from IPO, Dixon is one company that can surely become 10x from current levels and even more in the future. Hence considering all this, I think that Dixon is worth adding in SIP form. And if there is any fall in the share price in the near term, then it would be worth accumulating this company. Even the FIs and DIs have increased their stake in Dixon technology. So this was the fourth episode of Next Multipacker series. If I summarize Dixon's score on business model and growth prospect, I have rated it 10 on 10. On key strength, risk and competition, I have rated it 9 on 10. On leadership, I have rated it 10 on 10. On financials, I have rated it 8 on 10. And finally on valuation, I have rated it 7 on 10. So that's a total score of 44 out of 50. Now tell me, what is your view on Dixon Technology? Have you invested in this company? I hope you'll find this analysis useful. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care. Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.